All right, we've got all the gutters plumbed. The fawn plant forms are connected. drain into the reservoir here. I'm going to test it. Okay, you can see that I'm filling the gutters and it's hitting the area there and coming out and draining over here. I'm doing all the gutters. Um, there are some water spillage that I did, like you see on the wall there. Um, that was just removing the hose, but I'm going to dry it all off and check back for leaks anywhere and everywhere. I still have to do this bottom one here and this one up here. I've already done these three. And then we'll check for leaks. So far, so good. Okay, that's my return here. The elbow is tilted out. I can uh, tilt it up a little bit. If I want to raise what level the water starts returning from all the fawn system, but I'm pretty sure I want it uh, facing where it easily flows out. I can also face it straight down, but I have it at a level here where I think it'll run in and uh, you can hear it trickling back in and I prefer to hear it. Uh, if I faced it straight down, it would go into the water. Um, I've got the pump hooked up. I put a... Uh, paint strainer around it and I use the tie that came with the pump to hold the cord together to tie the paint strainer up and that's a thousand gallon per hour pump. I'm going to mediate how much goes to the fawn platforms with this uh, valve here. You may have seen it in the hydroponic drip system fawn style video and all this means is if I turn it off completely the full force of the pump is going to go down the line. The more I open this, the less will go down the line because it's going to spew out here. So that's what this is all about, to control the flow. And this is what the pump looks like set up inside the nutrient reservoir. All right, I've got two air stones in there being pumped out to the nutrient reservoir here, as you can see. And I've got it wired, wired. <laughs> got the tubing going underneath the fawn system here ah, as you can see and it comes around over there and hooks up now it has play so it can move back and forth here if needed but uh, this way there's no uh, air tubing in the way I can walk around no problem now I've got the cap off here and uh, the next thing I need to do is add the nutrient. And I've got them mixed here. I've got two one gallon milk jugs here. And I've got Master Blend Epsom salt mixed in here. And I've got calcium nitrate mixed in here. You get them good and thoroughly mixed with Master Blend. Shake it many, many, many times. Then you add the Epsom salt into it. Shake it, shake it many times. And this is uh, part A. Uh, if I were to add it to calcium nitrate in the same gallon jug, there's a possibility it could be some uh, some crystallization, some crystals hitting the bottom. So I mix that in a completely separate uh, container, and then I'll pour them in there and I'll let the bubbles mix them together. I may give it a little extra whirl with the uh, blender here. We will see. But uh, then I'll measure the PPMs. I started out with a 25 gallon mixture and that's because these are about to get water for the first time and I want uh, all the gutters to fill and all the plants to completely drip then I want to see how far down it goes then I'll add some more water and adjust the nutrient PPMs to the level I want so that's it so to make everything work I reconfigured a little bit meaning I just moved the pump over a little bit closer now, because there's a rise here, all the way to the top of the fawn, I had to cut off the pressure going this way, which goes to the lower fawn area. That way I could valve it, it goes full blast up, it's cut off there, 
and it's also regulated by that extension piece here the valve so now I've got pretty even watering all the way around I've got it plumbed all the way around I've got all my plants and all the fawn areas everything is doing pretty darn good and as you noticed I even brought back the broccoli planters I think they'll be okay in here there's not going to be any drastic temperature differences and I shortened the arms a little bit we're gonna give that a go I've even got some already popping up loving the, the uh, winter greenhouse quite a bit guys everything's planted everything's good to go and this will conclude this video on plumbing the winter greenhouse farms.